All right. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Nathaniel, and um, I would say I'm an aspiring um, cybersecurity um, engineer. I focus majorly on red teaming, pen testing, and all that. Um, so this uh, this will be my first video on YouTube, and I will be riding heavily on uh, the OSCP uh, prep guide. Uh, my own personal OSCP prep guide, I'm going to go through everything in detail. We're going to go through every single box that I went through and even more boxes. Uh, we're going to be focusing heavily on the TGNLs list because that's what I did. And uh, and we're going to keep doing that. So I'm going to show you my entire notes, my core, the, core, the entire course outline. Uh, my study pattern, my mentality, the goal, what I was thinking uh, when I was taking OSCP, my mindset, and all of that. So we're going to be going through all of that throughout, um, I'll say for the next 90 days. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be going through quite a number of labs, probably close to, what, 200 labs. I probably will be going through more, uh, including the PWK, but um, I can't. I show you the PWK labs um, because it's against OSCP's, uh, OSCP's policy. Uh, I can also show you um, the cost materials. Uh, I can't even show you my own. Well, I can show you a cheat sheet. There are some cheat sheets, but I can't really show you my notes because my notes is based on the OSCP uh, material. And I actually studied the entire OSCP material, including Pen 100 and Pen 200. I paid for the uh, Learn One program, 2500. Uh, program I paid for that, and again, uh, right now I think uh, towards the month of November, I think the beginning of November, November December, uh, the OSCP generally runs a promo of twenty percent off. So instead of twenty five hundred for the Lend One program, it then goes down to uh, two thousand um, dollars. I would strongly, strongly recommend if you're new to cybersecurity that you first start with uh, a, a plus go through that understand how computers work if you're just like brand new to computers and then go through the network plus and then possibly go through uh, security plus uh, before you uh, purchase the learn one program i would strongly advise that you purchase the learn one program because there's a way um the material sort of the as way uh, offset the pin 100 because i went through the entire uh, course material and the exercises too uh, the material really complements each other really, 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 really well. Um, now there's some things that offset that I personally probably don't understand, um, because I'm still learning. Um, but I had to use some other resources to help uh, fill up some knowledge gaps, and I had to kind of study a little bit uh, more on this subject, like privilege escalation or something. I kind of found it slightly uh, difficult to understand with the OCP material, but I used the Udemy uh, material. So I'll be showing you my OSCP guide. I use OneNote to take my notes. Uh, sometimes I use a leaf pad uh, to take my notes, uh, but for my OSCP prep, I used uh, OneNote. And um, again, in taking some of these boxes, again, uh, I also, so I did a lot. I did quite a number of stuff for preparation for the OSCP. We'll go through all of that. So I'm going to show you my one notes right here, and then we'll go through that. Um, I wouldn't say I know TJ Noll generally says or oh, his list are not ex ex uh, exhaustive. Uh, he's prob well, maybe maybe not, but I think personally that his list is pretty solid. And if you finish the entire list and the entire boxes on the list, you should be really good to go to take the OCP exam. Um, yeah, so let's go through his list real quick. I'm going to pull that up here. And then from there, we will go. All right, so here is it. Let's see what we can do. Can I enlarge the screen? Uh, oops. Okay, I don't even need this anyways. Um, okay. Just want to make sure you all can see my screen. Okay. I mean, I can see mine. 
just don't know if you all can see mine. Okay, so this is my OSCP guide over here. Okay. All right, okay, so um, OSCP tests you on many areas, um, but uh, on their list, uh, they test you on things like Active Directory. Active Directory, I used um, different materials for that. Uh, one of the materials I used was Cyber Mentors uh, materials, and I also used uh, TriHackMe. Uh, before, before, I think I also used TriHackMe and some other Udemy materials. They also test you on Windows Pre, uh, Windows and its privilege escalation, Linux and its privilege escalation. Uh, sometimes you could get uh, a web application or a web server, and uh, you might have to conduct some enumeration, and then finally, um, get roots on those targets. Uh, usually, the steps uh, we'll be going through will be more of uh, you get a reverse shell, we can get a reverse shell, then from the reverse shell, then you try to get a flag. Once you get the flag, then, then you will try to uh, probably get root uh, super user within that uh, application. Uh, so, we'll be going through quite a number of boxes, all the boxes I'm going through. Now, this is the thing I found out with. Um, uh, this was the mindset or the goal that I had in mind. My goal wasn't necessarily to pass the OSCP. I had something else in mind. Uh, my goal was to become a good ethical hacker. And I realized that when it comes to pen testing, it's usually two things. Your ability to be able to recognize patterns and your ability to be able to have enough methodology in your hacking quiver. So most of the time, uh, when it comes to pen testing, it's usually a pattern recognition and um, having a solid uh, methodology that you can follow and then sort of like pull from different things that you've been learning over time. So that is one thing I did. And again, the second thing was my mindset was I wasn't taking OSCP to pass the OSCP. I was taking the OSCP to become a good ethical hacker. So uh, which was one of the reasons why I didn't, which is one of the reasons why I went through the entire material. I did a lot of labs. Um, I think I did meet like about 300 of those labs really. Um, so I did a lot, a lot of labs because after a while I knew I was confident enough uh, to take the OSCP, but I just sort of like, uh, I just kept doing more boxes until, uh, because I just wanted to just really become a great eth ethical hacker. OSCP was just the foundation. Now, I'm not going to, if you are serious about uh, cybersecurity and red teaming and all that pen testing, you should not stop at OSCP. The OSCP is just the foundation. The OSCP gives you a very, very strong foundation in cybersecurity. So you shouldn't stop there. You should move on. You should go into digital forensics. You should go into malware analysis. You should move and expand your knowledge in other OSCP uh, um, certifications like the OSEP, the OSED, the OSWE, uh, which are they have, uh, the OSEE, which is the highest certification. So um, now, a lot of people don't like certifications, say certifications are not good, not a lot, but some people don't like that. But again, you don't know what you don't know. And certifications really help in bridging that, that knowledge gap. And um, again, another thing again, in also expanding in terms of certification and also certification about knowledge is also look at some GIAC uh, certifications like GCFA, incredible uh, certification. Um, can also look at the, uh, the gram. I think you can compare the gram with the, I think, OSED also. I think you can compare uh, that together. But anyways, uh, you should explore um, uh, all that knowledge base to kind of solidify your knowledge and uh, your understanding in so many areas. So uh, again, I recommend you take certifications. Certifications help in getting jobs. It helps to validate your skill set and also helps to kind of bridge knowledge gap. Now, if you're taking certifications, just have certifications, okay, maybe then I may agree with the fact that certifications are not valuable, but they are extremely valuable and they really help uh, you out. Again, just there's no harm in getting uh, certifications. Again, uh, you just don't want to stop there. You also want to explore and research in other areas. Um, so let's uh, go back and focus on what we're doing here. Um, so. Now here you see my entire OSCP pen 100. Actually, if I go back a little bit, you see my entire notes over here, pen 100, 103, 100, saw, cloud. I have notes on all this. I can't show it because it's uh, really based on the OSCP materials. Uh, 
Then I have my projects, my the wireless pen testing projects that I do on the side, uh, my internal pen testing testing project, my web application um, uh, project, and then my Python project. I also I'll keep adding more stuff because I do write like a whole. Um, I do write my. I, I do write. Uh, I, I have a lot of write ups that I have and all all three hundred boxes really. Uh, no, probably no. I exaggerate. Not all three hundred boxes. Not all three hundred boxes because some of them I kind of just skip because it was repetitive. Uh, so yeah, so let's go here. Let's look at the OCP prep guide. Okay, let's explore this real quick. Here, uh, this is what the exam structure I followed. Um, okay, I think you can see my screen. So, this was the exam structure I followed. Now, the exam has 60 points, um, uh, low privilege and high privileges you have here before, before, which may or may not be in the exam, and then you do have. And all the materials I touch, we're really going to touch on each and every one of them in in in, in, uh, in better understanding these materials, um, uh, this concept. Sorry. And then we have your uh, AD, two clients and one domain controller. So the AD is a very huge part of the exam. Uh, now, if you come down here to the additional um, changes here, how you can get the ten points. The ten points basically is uh, you pass seventy points, and sorry. Uh, the, the 10 points, the initially you had to do 10 uh, PWK labs and you write a, uh, a proper documentation and send it up to them. And then and then so, uh, part of the 10, uh, the 10 PWK labs reports are uh, reported on must include Active Directory. Now they've changed it. I think it's in August 2nd, August 22nd, where uh, they stated that uh, all you need to do is solve 80% of the exercises plus um get uh the proof of txt uh flag on the machines so that is really really good and that's really really important um now i did overkill because i had a mindset that i wanted to be a good ethical hacker when i was taking the oscp so i did the 80 percent probably did the whole thing anyways and then plus i also went ahead to um i do uh, the 30 pwk labs but again pwk labs i didn't just stop at 30 i kind of did the whole 75 pwk labs uh okay so here this was my step i finished the ocp course material finished the exercises and uh did uh reports on the exercises i didn't really do much report on the exercise like that but i did a little bit or report an exercise because I was trying to practice how to write better, spell, watch my spelling, kind of write properly, my language, how I use my English, the way I, how do I write to someone who is knowledgeable about cybersecurity and how do I write to someone who is not knowledgeable about cybersecurity who, and also be able to communicate fairly simpler uh, or simple in, in, uh, in communicating complex things or technical things, maybe not complex. All right, then I went through, so I used to, in doing the boxes, I did, I went through the Windows Privilege Escalation with OSCP and Linux Privilege Escalation on Udemy. I kind of used that alongside, you can get it on Udemy. Uh, Udemy usually has a lot of bonuses and uh, discounts in our courses, so you may be able to find these courses for $15, maybe between $15 and $25, depending on when you actually search for these courses. So I was using, I was just kind of studying this material also. I didn't finish it, but I studied this material alongside with the boxes I was doing. Uh, also with the before overflow, I did uh, the try hack me before overflow, and I also used the um, uh, OSCP, uh, hold on, give me a second. Uh, yeah, I also use the OSCP course material uh, for this particular uh, exercise. Um, now, before overflow are generally very, very methodology, uh, uh, method, uh, whatever, they're very systematic. And uh, generally, they have a very strict uh, methodolog uh, methodology to, uh, to it, so you can kind of very follow them. You can follow them properly. Um, also, you can find here in Active Directory uh, Labs, I did the Trahackme Labs. Uh, these are some of the labs on Proven Ground. They have an Active Directory in them and Hack the Box and the uh, Pen 200 course materials on AD. I went through that and the Cyber Mentor. Um, AD gave me gave me so a more it gave me kind of more insight into Active Directory. So I really, uh, so I really understood some of these things properly, which is one of the reasons why the OSCP, uh, again, I'm telling you, OSCP kind of really pushes you into this rabbit hole of just learning. Uh, I was I was done with that. I did the proving ground. Now, um, I did actually this boxes. Uh, actually, I did about seventy of them. 
And um, so I didn't go into the hard courses, right? I did this um, plus extra 70 of uh, the Proving Ground Labs. And then I just did this uh, five um, hard labs. I only did the, um, I think the warm up, uh, the get to work. Those are only two I did. I never went into the try harder uh, portion. Well, I did, but I only did five of them. And I think I also touched on Black Gates also. It was also another that I did. Now, Hack the Box, yeah. I, I kind of started with Hack the Box, but I used Hack the Box with Ipsex videos in preparing for the OSCP material. That's why I'm telling you that the TJNOS materials are very solid in the OSCP. If you take his materials seriously, you should do well in the OSCP. So I did the Hack the Box material with Ipsex videos, and I did the entire... I didn't really do the entire box, but I kind of use Ipsex because the Ipsex videos has like the TGNOs, uh basically like a collection of the OSCP for TGN, I think we have about 48 tracks. So, uh, but we here will be doing this ent this entire thing, including Proving Ground, Hack the Box, we'll do the entire thing, including Von Hop itself, we'll also do the, 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 the whole thing. And here, and this too at the same time, I did all those boxes too, on Try Hack Me. So we'll be going through this entire um, boxes so we're except for the pwk so we're looking at almost 200 boxes in total and we're going to have all those 200 boxes in um the channel i'm going to create a whole playlist for them so for those who are trying to get into the pwk um probably the only thing that you may not be able to have access to with me would probably be the cost material the cost exercises and uh the <clears throat> what else Cost material, cost exercises, and the um, the PWK lab. So those three things you won't have. But regardless of that, I'm going to create another video that would help you in terms of your understanding of OSCP. I mean, if you're taking the OSCP, you would by default also purchase the cost material. So I may not necessarily need to go over that cost material because you would have them. But again, I'll have I'll put my recommendations out there for some material that you may need to go through before you start taking the OSCP. So uh, I hope this video has been very informative and uh, I'll see you in the next box. Uh, happy hunting.